talking about LeBron James is real oh my what are you guys doing you guys are crazy That's a medicine ball. That's a that's not a play ball, Jack. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? LeBron James is real. What's up, everybody? Kids are asleep. Partying uh, up at my sister's house for Jackson's fifth birthday. Kind of my side of the family got together. Watching the Seahawks game. It just went into overtime. We should have won it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is oh, rough in the passer. Saved him. Come on, Jamal. Um, anyways, we stopped here um, to we need to grab something real quick. Penalties are killing us today. Sounds like it was a bad call, but these are the homeowner announcers. Gotta love Steve Rabel. Look at her. She's so cute. Um, yeah, anyways, checking in. Hopefully the Hawks pull this off, but it's not looking good. Momentum's going towards Tennessee right now. Um, Um, uh, so I'm just waiting here for, for my wife to grab something then we're going to head home and kind of just um, get ready for the week you know Big, another week coming up we gotta probably give the kids a shower tonight um, get ready for Jackson school she starts school again this week I got work so get to bed early tonight I'm tired life with kids but uh, alright I'll check in later guys Go Hawks. Oh, what a way to lose it, man. Overtime. Kicks a field goal. Just rough. You know, I don't know. You don't want to look too much into it. You just take the loss and move on. But definitely, you know, I think there was some bad calls by the ref, bad play calls, bad defense. What are you gonna do, you know? Like, like the whole taunting thing, I don't know. It just seems like such a such a crazy idea. You make a big play, you get up to celebrate, or you just happen to say something like, oh yeah, you like that boy, or something. And you get a penalty for that? Like, what is this? That's, you know, as long as you're not dirty plays or, you know, you get up and say one, you know, and it's not like an ongoing thing or something. I don't know. It's just like, like, sh sure, you want to, if the refs are listening, you say something like egregious or terrible or, you know, fi fine him, penalize him, flag him, whatever. Or if he, if he is like nonstop and it's like, you know, incessant, sure. But like one time the guy gets up and says something because he made a good play and all of a sudden it's taunting I don't know. Anyway, so tough loss, tough loss. What are you gonna do? The big thing is, you know, at the end of the day, we're not on the. I'm the, well. This is how I feel. I'm not on the team, so I don't want to, you know, because I know people, and I used to be like this a little bit, where the Kona, where the loss like affects 
like your well-being and like you know ruins your the rest of your day and your week and stuff you know um it's kind of funny how how fandom works max this way come on come on now um but so you gotta try not to let it get to you it just sucks it's just them you know i just it was just we were just crushing them and it's just like it's like what a way to lose you know seems they just flat out played us in the fourth quarter in overtime seemed like but anyways like i said you take the loss and move on hopefully you learn you know lessons learned and you move on um other than that uh both kids fell asleep on the way home they were playing hard with their cousins they had some fun celebrating uh we you know we celebrated jackson's birthday early it's not jackson's birthday actually isn't even until for like 10 more days or so but um but because my parents won't be here, um, they're going to head back down to Arizona. Um, and, you know, we figured we'd just get together with my side of the family. Except Megan. She's not here, of course. Wish you were, Meg, if you're watching. Um, then what else is going on then? Yes, and so, so they played pretty hard with their cousins. On, and on the way home, they are both sleeping, like you saw. Um, so let's see what's going on. Walking the dogs right now, and then get back home and do a couple things get ready for the week you know make sure look at my calendar maybe check some emails get prepared and then um probably just hang out at home and maybe play some uno jackson wanted to play uno but keely and leighton his cousins didn't really want to play but he's actually getting pretty good he knows how to play he likes to play the skip cards and skip people and laugh at them <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Getting ready for the week. Trying not to let the lo the loss hit you too hard. But it's just like it just so, it's just so bad. Like you almost just want to take a blowout. And, like you, I don't know. Part of me wishes, you know, you just you just isn't a blowout loss better than that type of loss where it's like we basically lost the game. You know, it wasn't like they. I mean, they did play. They played well, but you know, it was basically our game to lose, and we just we just couldn't. We couldn't secure it, so... Alright, that's enough. I'm just blabbering out here. Get some rest. Let's hit the week hard. Let's work on some goals. Let's be productive. Let's go. Ooh, ooh.